guys welcome to my channel this is Liliana in today's video I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful texture cake if you guys want to learn how to make these techniques well keep on watching also if you haven't done it yet don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button so you get notified of all the videos that I put up without further ado let's get to it
final product, I really like how it turned out. I like the texture unfinished buttercream look to a cake. Personally, I think it's very sophisticated. For the stenciling, make sure that your cake is completely frozen before you stencil. Or else, as soon as you're gonna spread the buttercream with the stencil and you're gonna remove the stencil, it's just gonna remove the whole entire thing. So make sure, first of all, your cake is completely frozen, then you put the stencil, then your buttercream, and then you remove the stencil. And then that's it. And uh, for the color pops on the cake, you can uh, either do the color pop, whatever color you want, uh, with your spatula, remove it. You can make it smooth, you can make it more texture, and that's basically it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Oh yeah, and the last thing, many of you have been asking me about my synthetic flowers. Um, synthetic flowers, there's no problem to put it on the cake. And I don't know if you guys noticed, I don't put anything at the bottom of the flower. And this is the reason why it's because there's no wire on the flower that I'm using. But if there is a wire, never, 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 and I repeat, ever, put a full-on metallic, because on those wires there's a metallic. Do not put a full-on metallic straight in your cake. It's very dangerous, it will create rust, and people can get sick off of it. So don't do that. If you do have a wire, uh, there's alternatives that you can do to put a straw in your cake and then you simply put the flower, so like that, the wire is protected with the straw. That's number one. Or you can also uh, simply remove the top of the, the flower, literally from the wire, and you can put it on top of your uh, cake. You can also cover the, the stem with uh, candy melts. Make sure that it's thick. So like that, the candy melt will cover over it and like that, it will not um, transport any metal, rust, whatever to your cake. So there's a little pointers, so just be careful about that. If you are using real flowers, another thing to be very aware is that if you're real, uh, using flowers from your garden, because obviously you know your own garden, there's no problem at all. You can either put it straight in your cake or with a straw, or if you're using um, flowers from the florist, you have to be careful. Once again, florists, in order to preserve their flowers, they put all these chemicals inside. So you have to make sure that you don't want the chemicals to be absorbed in your cake. So you're going to use, you're going to put that stem into a straw. So that's super, super important. So yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys want more videos like this, well, you can subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell button so you get notified of all the videos that I put up. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Many of you had like questions about this because you've been seeing that in some of my cakes, I've been putting um, uh, flowers, uh, what are they called? Synthetic flowers. Blah, blah, blah.